Hello and welcome to the Retro Tech 100 Facebook Pages 20p Arcade Challenge. This week we are playing My Choice Mystic Warriors, which is a game by Konami which not many people knew about until it came out on MAME. Um, it came out around about the same time as Sunset Riders, but unlike Sunset Riders, it never got a home port for some unknown reason. Even though it's kind of on the same engine as Sunset Riders, just just never made it home, which is a shame because well, it's, it's bloody brilliant, to be fair. I love this game. Now, I haven't had much practice at it though. Had a few PC problems this, this week, uh, so I haven't had as much practice as I would like. Of course, now I've started recording, this is the run I have to submit, so... Uh, during practice run I've been getting to the raft level and then just dying there. I'm hoping I get a bit of stage presence and get a bit of luck going, but we shall see. Of course the rules are simple. Two credits to get as far through this game as we can. In the event of a tie break, either time or score will be a factor. Oh look, Hayashi Jim. That sounds like he's one of beautiful Joe friends, you know? Ah, oh, look, it's Beautiful Joe and Hayashi Jim in Beautiful Joe 3. What happened to Beautiful Joe, anyway? You know, he, uh, he was in a couple of his own games, and then he was in Marvel vs. Capcom for a while, and then he disappeared off the face of the earth. Such a shame, because he was in... It was a pretty good game, too. Not as good as this, and not as good as the game showing in the drive through behind this, but still a pretty good game. So this is the level one boss. <laughs> Come on. Okay, he's out of here. Boom, 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 boom. So cool. We get to the job bar. Here we go. Obligatory snow level. But this level is pretty sweet nonetheless. I like this level. You'll see why later. There's a very cool segment coming up. But in the meantime, I just gotta check my balls. My snowballs, that is. Tempura. Tempura! Isn't that the baddest tempura you've ever heard? There we go. I knew there was an angle to kill her. This one's going to be more tricky. We'll just kick her in the lady parts then, shall we? Okay. Right, this is the bit I was talking about before. This reminds me so much of Gunstar Heroes on the Mega Drive, you know. The first level, tearing down the side of a pyramid. Awesome feeling, awesome game, awesome sense of speed, awesome graphics on both titles, and I've just got hit. Bollocks. That's not cool. I was hoping to clear this level without getting hit. Not going to happen. I might be able to claw my health back though, because there is a, a health drop that shows up later on. Fuck! Okay, so I'm one health point down from where I should be. Still got my auto attacks, luckily. So I haven't lost all my power-ups, which is good. But this could be a lot cleaner. A lot cleaner. OK, 
Okay, here we go, boss time. Yeah! Alright, that was pretty clean. I'm still a health bar down, but... I can take it. I've still got my auto attacks, which makes the next section much easier. Now I can just run through this. Jobs are good, and this section's easy too, because normally this asshole is a nightmare if you haven't got auto attack. Ah! Problem with auto attack is you got to learn to let it go. Damn it! I can't believe I made that mistake. That was so fucking stupid of me. I'm disgusted with myself. Okay. shot. It's not the best shot. Wish I hadn't died. That was so dumb. To get hit twice by the same guy. That's really set me back. Now if I'm lucky, I'll survive this without using a credit. But I doubt it. So the problem isn't the boss, it's these divers that come along. They are the, the problem. So they fire at shots, such short vicinity from you, it's very hard to dodge them. And if you don't take them out quick, they take up a huge amount of screen real estate. Yes. Alright, so. If it wasn't for that really, really stupid mistake on that, that, that bad guy, we'd be doing really well. Um, as it stands, it could be better, but. Here we go. This is the level where I've made it to on my practice runs. Um. I get to the boss of this level and then die horribly. Sometimes I don't make it to the boss because there's uh, quite a nasty run that you have to do first. This this level goes on for quite a while. You stay on the raft. Take out enemies as they come. Whee! And as you can see, the raft gets smaller and smaller. And then this asshole comes along and ruins your day. No! Got hit. 
At least I didn't lose my uh, my auto fire attack. If I lose that at this stage, I am in deep trouble. No. boss okay so despite the horrific first life uh, on level three we have made it to the boss we've lost our life straight away so we're on our last credit Get up there! Ah, oh, there goes my life already. I lose the power up. I can't jump in time. I'm too committed to attack. There we go. Oh boy. Yes! Okay. Comrade is now okay. Oh, that was close. This is uncharted territory as well. I'm hoping and praying that I get a power up and some tempura. No. Ah! Oh, that's not cool. Oh, that's even less cool. No! Why did I walk forward? That was a dumb move. But there we go. What was that, level 5? Yeah, level 5 it must have been. Okay, so there we have it, 181,000. Um, that was a couple of dumb mistakes stopped me from getting further in the game, but that's that's not a bad run considering I've only had, what, half an hour's practice? Anyway, guys, that was a lot of fun. I like that game a lot, and I wish more people knew about it. I hope this video will kind of spread some light and joy about this game a bit further than it has already. Anyway, people, I'm out. Until next time, boy for now.